All right, good morning, everyone. Okay, so you will need a strap for your practice. So just make sure you have one readily accessible. You might also need a block. If you like to practice with a block, it's just nice to have one readily accessible, maybe at the top of your space. Sometimes it's nice to have it to use for sitting, which is actually where we're gonna start. So let's come into a kneeling position. If you're using your block, you'll place it right between your feet and then have a seat on your block. <sighs> Take a deep breath and bring your shoulders up to your ears. And then roll your shoulders back and down. Again, shoulders up to the ears, circle them back and down. And you can place your hands on your thighs, on your legs, and just give yourself a moment to land in your breath for this slow flow today. Notice how this feels to inhale and fully expand into your entire torso. And as you exhale, there's a softening of your bones, of your joints. And just really tune into the movement of your breathing. Watching it pass your nostrils. And as you exhale, there's this wave or this layer of tension that's released from your body. Now you can do a few slow breaths here where it's called equal breathing, where we inhale and exhale for a count of three or four on the inhale and the same on the exhale. So three or four on the exhale. And as you do this, welcome a sense of space. So if you're a visual person, maybe you visualize filling up an empty glass of water. And as you exhale, you're slowly pouring that same glass of water out. Two more breaths, just like this, nice and slow, maybe tacking on an extra second to the inhale and exhale. All right, now slowly start to blink your eyes open. Take a big breath and reach your arms up to the ceiling. Now exhale, sweep your right arm under your left, bind at your elbows and then at your wrists. Scoop your elbows forward and up. Breathe right behind your heart. And as you brighten your breath behind your heart, bow your forehead towards your biceps. Breathe into the entire upper back. And there's almost like this movement of the shoulder blades. As you feel the shoulder blades wrap around your ribs, there's an expansion, letting go of all the tension we hold there. And as we practice our fullness of breath, maybe you can extend it right up to the base of your neck, right up to that C7, that bony part of the neck. All right, now lift your forehead. Take a big breath in, reach your arms out and up. And switch 
to the other side. So left arm under right, bind at your elbows and then at your wrists. Drop the right shoulder down, take a big breath in. Exhale, float the elbows up. Breathe, get tall. And as you sit up a little taller, then just bow your forehead. So it's not the whole spine rounding forward. You're just feeling the forehead, the chin come down towards the chest. When we hold a lot of responsibilities, we tend to build a lot of extra tension in an area in the upper back and the neck called the traps. Isn't that funny? When we have stress, we trap that energy. Uh, the the actual term is a trapezius, but we we hold all that tension there. We we'll get that neck stiffness. Take two more breaths. Okay, now lift your forehead, big inhale, reach your arms up. And exhale, shake it out, grab your strap. And we'll pr bring the strap out in front of you. So I'm still going to stay seated here on my block, but I'll turn this way so you can see. Bring your hands out in front of you. Now, if you have one of these clangity uh, straps, which I do where they're two buckles, I just like to hold that end so that it doesn't make a lot of noise. And then the hands will come out a little bit wider than your shoulders. Take the palms down. So the hands out in front of you. Inhale, reach your arms forward and slowly bring them up. Exhale to bring the hands behind you. Now you might even need to widen your grip as you open your chest. Good. And see if you could bring your knuckles all the way down to that space behind your toes. Good. And then inhale, come back up. Exhale to come forward. Keep your elbows soft. The strap is taut. Good. Inhale, lift up. Nice and slow with the breath. Contain the ribs from fanning. Exhale back. Good. Inhale back up. Exhale forward. Now the next time, inhale, come back up. Exhale, pull behind you. And now come into the space where you feel the most sensation. Hold here and lean forward a little bit. You could even bring your chin down. Feel that stretch right across your chest. Sometimes we hold a lot of our power right there, right? Like, and when we feel scared or stressed, there's a, so much tension that we hold up in that side. So see if you can breathe deeper. And it could just be a physical thing too, like maybe you're sitting down for so long that the shoulders start to hunch forward. Good. Inhale, come back up. Exhale, bring the hands out in front of you. Now shake it out. Interlace your hands behind you. Take a big breath in. Exhale, open up your chest. And then take your knuckles over to your right hip. Big inhale to sit up tall. I'll turn around again so you can see. And as you exhale, bring your right ear to your right shoulder. Breathe into the side of your neck. Nice, full breath in and out through the nose. And, and then come back to the center, change your grip, take the more unusual grip. Begin heel, sit up tall. And then exhale, slide over to the left hip, left ear to left shoulder. Breathe deep. Feel that hopefully we created a little bit of additional space in your neck before coming into this one. Hmm. All right. Now let this go. Shake out the hands. 
Make your way forward into a tabletop position. Just move the strap off to the side. We will need that again today. So tabletop position, curl your toes under, reach back and curl the baby toes and the toe beside it. Have a seat on your heels. Now you might even need to kind of take the feet so that the heels are right under your sit bones. Find some balance, sit up tall. Now if this is too much, leaning forward also takes a lot of pressure off of, off of the feet. Breathe into the sensation. And for some of you, this might be very challenging just to feel that in the arches of the feet. See if you can drop into that sensation and meet it with a sense of calmness. Fill up your entire body with breath. Now press your hands into your thighs, steady your eyes on one spot that isn't moving and lift up your right knee. Keep your toes curled under. Keep pressing your hand into your thighs so there's a little bit of resistance and now lift your left knee. You might need to grab your balance. Toe stand. Use the hands to counter the balance, sit up tall. Breathe deep. Fingertips to the earth. Lift your hips, forward fold. Let's just hang here for a moment. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to to let your belly and your ribs rest on the shelf of your thighs. And if it's comfortable for your spine, grab for the opposite elbows. Just hang out here. Sway from side to side. And, and then crawl your way forward. Come into a high plank. And just pause here. Option to set your knees on the floor. Rock forward and back on your toes. Then lower your knees to the mat. Come all the way down to your tummy, nice and slow for three, two, and one. Bring your hands out in front of your shoulders. Lift your chest. Come into cobra pose. Reach actively through your toes. Let the shoulder blades slide down your back. Belly is soft. A nice deep breath in and out through the nose. And then lower your heart towards the mat. Take your hands out to football pose or to cactus. So we're going to take, sorry, let's bring the hands shoulder wider than your shoulders, but in line with your shoulders. Take a deep breath in. Now exhale, pick up your left heel and twist to your right. Little twist here. You can even bring the right knee forward a little if it helps to keep you more stable. Now the option is to straighten out the right arm. See how that feels. Good, and then come back through to that football post or the soccer post feeling. And then twist, go the other way. So the right heel picks up. Shoulders are still on the mat, or the left shoulder is. You can take the left hand out. And just roll onto the chest. Good, and then come back onto your tummy. Hands underneath your shoulders. Push back into child's pose. Stretch back, get long through your sides. Forehead can come to the mat. Now let's curl the toes under, walk your hands back towards your knees, come back into toe stand, just like you were at the beginning of the class. So we're going to find the balance, 
toes stand position, hands come onto your thighs, press to sit up taller. You might even fall back or forward. That's okay, just find your center. Like a string drawing through the crown of your head. And if you fall, who cares? Just fall, come back up. It's sometimes it's like the hardest part of falling is not letting yourself fall. And you're like, oh my God, I'm gonna fall, I'm gonna fall. Good, hands to the earth, forward fold. Crawl yourself forward, walk back into that high plank position. Lower yourself all the way down to the floor once again. Now interlace your hands at your low back. Take a big breath in. Exhale, float your chest, float your legs. Reach through your toes. Option to separate the hands and take more of a, a flying position. Pull your belly into your spine. Now reach your left arm forward, bend the right knee, grab hold of your foot and kick back into your hand. Option to bring the hand to the inside of your foot. So very similar to dancer pose, except we're doing this in a spine strengthening position. So lengthen, lift, kick. Good, switch sides. So the right arm forward, left knee bends, take a big breath in. Exhale, kick. Now you can flip the hand so it becomes more of a chest opener. Keep kicking back, lift. Good, relax down. Hands under your shoulders, push back, come into child's pose again. So child's pose, keep your toes curled under. Walk your hands back to your knees, toe stand. Find your balance. Maybe this time bringing your hands to your chest or out in front of you. Nice and steady with your eyes. Take a big inhale. Exhale, this time we stand all the way up, stand up. Inhale, reach up. Exhale to fold forward. Crawl, walk your hands into that high plank position. Lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale to lift your hips, downward dog. Take a breath in and a breath out. Inhale, sweep your right heel up to the ceiling, bend your knee, open your hip. And just notice how this feels to soften your left knee. Try to reach the right knee up a little bit higher. And now inhale, lengthen out your leg. Exhale, step your foot right between your hands. Now walk your hands over to the left side of your space. Bend into your left knee. Straighten out the right leg. Breathe into the legs. Good. Full inhale. Now exhale, let's come all the way forward again. Bring your left hand beside right foot and we'll come into almost like a supported side plank. Drop the left hip down, reach the right arm out to the back of your space. And come back over, walk it over to the left. Side lunge, left knee. Good, come back over, walk, walk, walk. Bring your left hand to the inside of your right foot. Turn all 10 toes to the right. Drop the left hip down. One more time. Hand comes down. Crawl, 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 crawl. Side lunge. Left knee bends. Right leg straightens. Good, and then we come all the way through. Take this time, we're gonna go right into a side lunge. So step your right foot back, or sorry, side plank, side plank. Lift your hips, option to float the right foot. Keep pressing your hips up to the ceiling. Good, top hand to the earth, roll onto your tippy toes, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale to upward facing dog. Exhale, lift your hips. Downward dog. 
Inhale through the nose. Exhale out your mouth. So stay exactly as you are. I'm just turning around so that you don't get the full moon first thing in the morning like this. All right, inhale, left leg up. Exhale, bend the knee, open the hip. Soften the right knee. Keep lifting the left leg up higher, breathe. Good, inhale, lengthen out your leg. Exhale, knee to your left tricep, and then quietly step forward. Walk your hands over to the right side of your space. Now side lunge, right knee, straighten out the left leg. <sighs> breathe deep. Good. Inhale to straighten. Exhale, walk your hands forward. Right hand stays down. Turn all 10 toes to your left. Now reach up, left hand. Option to drop the hip down and come into more of that side stretch. And then come back over. Crawl your hands to your right. Side lunge, right knee. Breathe into the inner thighs, into the legs. Good, crawl the hands forward. Right hand lines up with the left toes. Turn all 10 toes now to your left. Sink down, reach back. One more time, come forward. Crawl your hands over to your right. Side lunge. And this time we're gonna crawl all the way through. Right hand down, turn your toes. Take your step back with the left foot, come into side plank, option to stagger the feet. <sighs> Keep lifting up through your hips. <sighs> Press the floor away. Top hand to the mat. Come onto your tippy toes. Look forward, lower down, chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, lift your hips, downward dog. <sighs> Keep pressing the hands down and forward. Lift the hip bones up and back. <sighs> Take a breath in and empty. Let it go. Look forward, step your feet to the outside of your hands, turn your toes out, and then drop your hips down nice and low. Come into Malasana, low squat. Push the knees out. Now there's a little bit of resistance, so as you sink down, so here's where a block might come in handy. If you find this is a lot of pressure for your knees, sit on your block. This will also help to lower your heels closer to your yoga mat. Good. Breathing nice and deep. Lift through the crown of your head. Now, um, your strap, try to bring your strap close by if it's not already there. So as we sink down through the hips. All right, so reach your right hand forward. Reach, reach, reach. And then take your right arm to wrap around your left knee or your shin. Then we're going to take the, sorry, the right arm forward wraps around the right knee. Now the left arm is gonna come up, reach all the way back, and then grab hold of your fingers. So here's where a strap might come in handy. If you can't quite bring that bind together, you're gonna take your strap into your left hand and then grab the opposite end with your right hand. So this is a huge compression on the right side body as well. Roll left shoulder blade back, open across your chest, keep breathing. A nice full breath. And all right, come back to center. Take a full inhale, reach forward, sit back a little lower if you can. Then the left arm comes forward, sweep your arm. So the tricep wraps around the shin. The right arm will come back to interlace your hands. Take a big breath in, exhale to twist. Right shoulder blade wraps around the spine, breathe. Nice full breath in and out through the nose. So again, a really nice alternative is to use your strap. If you can't quite bring the hands together, we use the strap to lengthen our arms, our limbs. Keep 
opening up the chest. <sighs> All right. Let the hands be free. Slide your strap just off to the side. We're going to need that shortly. Straighten out the legs. Fold forward. Take a forward fold. <sighs> Big inhale. Lengthen your chest. Exhale to fold. Now inhale, rise all the way up, reach up. Exhale, hands in front of your heart. All right, so the next movement we're going to come into is dancer pose. Now you could do dancer as you traditionally would, where we grab hold of your foot. So sometimes working right here to stabilize your balance is perfect. So if you want to stay right here, go for it, stay here. You can also start to kick back and come forward. Or an additional option I'm going to throw in today, since we have the strap, is to come into Dancer with the strap. So Dancer with the strap, you'll bring the strap behind you, just like you're about to use a jump rope, and step into the strap so that it's just below the, the arch or the toes on the top of your feet. The two strap ends come up between the shoulder blades. So here I have just enough slack, but if you need more space, loop your strap into the buckle and then pull it all the way through. So it's gonna look something like, oops. So it'll look more like a lasso instead. So here's that other option, looks like that. So you can step into the strap around the arch of the foot, bring the, the strap end between the shoulder blades. Elbows come up right beside your ears. Stabilize your foundation, take a big breath in. Exhale, kick into the strap. Lift your chest, kick back, open up your heart. So here's what happens sometimes in dancer pose. We tend to lock out the standing knee. Soften your standing knee, engage your thigh. Keep kicking back, lift. Maybe walking your hands closer to your foot that you're kicking into. All right, last three, two. Try not to slingshot yourself forward. Let the knees come back together on one. Let this go pause before we take the other side. Both feet on the mat, allowing yourself to really land and just be in this moment. How it feels to have maybe the two sides feel a little different. Okay, let's switch. All right, so this time we're going to take either come into the more traditional dancer pose where we scoop up the left foot into the arch and then kick. That's a really nice quad stretch again, so you could stay right here. You can reach up and then kick back, or you could come into it with your strap. So grab your strap, lasso it around your foot, bring the knee behind you. Ooh, I'm a little tangled. There we go. Strap ends come up between the shoulder blades. Hug your elbows in close to the sides of your head. Take a big breath in. Exhale, kick back. Steady your eyes. Maybe walking your hands closer to your foot. Keep kicking, lift the chest. Breathe. Open up through the sides of your body. Welcome three deep breaths here. Good. Knees come together. Set your strap down. Take it off your foot. And just pause here, pause. All right, feet are about hip width distance. Come to the very front of your space. Actually, let's go two thirds down. Arms can come out, take a breath in. 
Exhale, come into an active squat. So get down nice and low, right till you feel the muscles catch. So stay there, pause, breathe. Maybe the toes are turning out a little, that's okay. Now slowly lower your hips all the way down to your yoga mat. Down, down, down. And onto your back, knees bent, feet on your mat. Feet are hip width distance or wider. Take a breath in. Exhale to let both of your knees drop to your right. You can use your triceps on your mat or on the floor to stabilize your balance. Then take your right ankle on top of your left knee. If that's too much to have that additional weight on the knee, then just let it go and let your knees fall to the side. And knees come back up to center and let them fall in the opposite direction. And, and then soles of your, let this, the soles of your feet come together, knees drop open, and arms could come over your head. Supta Baddha Konasana. Hmm. Now, we will end our practice in this pose today. If you are ready or when you're ready to continue the rest of your day, then move slowly, take your time. Give yourself at least five to 10 breaths before you start to move into your day. And whatever challenges that you might have faced ahead of you, just know that the same feeling you emulate on your yoga mat, you can carry with you in those moments. Thank you all so much for your energy, for showing up, and for holding space for one another. My greatest teachers and my deepest bows from my heart to yours, namaste. Thank you. Have a great day, everyone.